the next one I'm going to show you a simplified axis determination in step by step first how we start the evaluation first of all we have to look at lead number one lead number one positive in this case the axis is located on the left side if lead number one negative the axis located on the right side so lead number one negative axis on the right side and right deviation if we do have a one positivity we are on the left side let's look at first what will happen when we are on the right side we have to look at avr avr is going to tell us whether we do have a positivity meaning that the axis is more than 120 so we do have an extreme right deviation or avr is negative and we do have only a right deviation please make a note that the extreme right deviation starts at 110 however it's very or impossible to diagnose with that appropriate calculation so lead number one negativity avr positivity extreme right deviation lead number avr negativity can be only right deviation go and look at the left axis when we do have one positivity which lead is the next that we have to look at avf let's look at avf lead number one positive so we are on the left side avf positive for sure we do have a normal axis if lead number one positive but avf is negative we have left deviation the axis is between zero and minus and, and minus 90. so avf was positive that was normal when it's negative we do have left deviation let's look at lead number two lead number two is going to tell us whether we do have only left deviation or extreme left deviation if avf is positive we do have left deviation that ranging from zero to minus 30. if avf if lead number two is negative we do have extreme left deviation now if we know that one positive avf negative lead number two negative we do have extreme left deviation that we do have a range from minus 30 to minus 90 the next if we want to narrow down this axis let's look at avr if avr is positive we do have an axis that's ranging from minus 60 to minus 90. If AVR is negative, we do have an axis that is ranging between minus 30 and minus 60. As a summary, lead number one is going to tell us whether we are on the right side or left side. If lead number one negative, look at AVR. By this, we can immediately diagnose the extreme right deviation. If one positive, look at AVF. If both positive, then we do have a normal axis. If AVF negative, look at lead number two. If lead number two positive, we have only left deviation. If lead number one negative, we do have extreme left deviation. By AVR, we can determine whether that's ranging from minus 60 to minus 90, or we do have only minus 30 and a minus 60 axis.